Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's check up on the energies that are coming towards you, in you, or around you. We're going to be using the uh, magical Marvel deck to collect that energy, okay? So let's see what's going on. What's coming towards Pisces at this time? What are the energies coming towards Pisces? Okay, first energy you have is Spectrum. Be blinded by the light. Mm. Black Panther, wear the crown with honor. Wolverine, <laughs> when I'm alone, I'm in great company. This card comes out every single time I use this deck. Every single time. So this energy is definitely all around you or it's what's in you. Okay, I'm, 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 when I'm alone, I'm in great company. But when you look at the illustration, it just seems like anger, rage, you know, sneakiness, you know, someone who's upset. You know what I'm saying? Someone who can't sit with themselves for real. Okay, and then we have She-Hawk. Do the right thing even when no one is watching. Okay. Okay, the driving force of these energies, Pisces, is hella. Okay, seize the day. And this type of seize the day is in a dark way. Okay, so, you know, there's not a lot of good intention towards the star. Okay, and who I feel like the star is, is this spectrum, right? Be blinded by the light. There are a lot of people that's coming towards you or around you who cannot figure you out, who cannot outshine you, who cannot, I'm hearing that the people, these people are people who have more than you, okay? People who may have better jobs, more money, more tangible things, okay? But when it comes to things money can't buy, they're broken, they're broke, they're poor, right? So for you, it may be um, morals, integrity, you know, um, She-Hawk, do the right thing even when no one is watching. If you bless someone, you're not going to tell the next person. You're not posting it up online, right? You're doing things generally from your heart. And that's why your light shine is so bright. Some people work it so hard to, to have that that those things of value that you have instilled in you. They, they trying so hard to uh, accumulate those things that it's creating envy and jealousy, right? Because what they work it so hard for to you comes naturally okay so these people who are blinded by your light who can't see you who can't compete with you who secretly don't like you you know um they're hiding all that behind all of the tangible things that they have okay black panther wear the crown with honor pisces i see this as you being you i see this as you standing up for what's right i see this as you standing for what you know what you believe, you know what I'm saying? I see you doing the right thing, right? And I see somebody can't stand that, right? They hate that they cannot see your light. So they try to make it seem like when I'm alone, I'm in great company, right? Like I don't need your light, but look how hateful I am towards that light, right? So it's like, don't dim your light, for no one. Okay. Wear your crown with honor. Do the right thing. Keep on going how you've been going. Because there's an energy around you who wants to conquer. Okay. So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's check all the way deep up on these energies. And let's kind of see what's going on here. Let's talk to Wolverine. Let's talk to the hater. Let's talk to the person who cannot see you. Definitely. They can't see you. They eyelashes too big. Right. <laughs> it's like uh, windshield wipers on this person, right? They can't see you and they are afraid of you, okay? They don't know how to take you either as far as like, you know, they don't play with you as much because they're, they're trying to figure something out, right? This could be somebody you keep at a distance, okay? You deal with them, but only at a distance, okay? They can't see you, right? They want to cross that bridge, 
right? They want you to see them like an emperor. Everybody knows the emperor. Everybody know who runs the world, the country, whatever, whatever, whatever. But they never get to see them. They never get to talk to them. They never get to touch them, right? The identity is almost invisible. But I know who you are. I know your name, okay? So this is somebody who can't even get in the proximity of you. This is somebody who cannot cross over, you know, or that boundary that you have set for them. This is someone who probably would never be able to get in your spot, right? And your spot is the spotlight. You are the star, okay? And this is somebody who wants to take your place. Somebody who ain't good enough to take your place. Somebody who competing against you and you ain't even aware of it. You just naturally being you. So your light just naturally shines and this person is blinded by it. And they can't see how you do it. Right? The tower. Okay? This person's whole world is falling apart. And this is somebody who has everything, right? Like I said, the emperor. The emperor, it, it's paid. If you run the world, you pay, right? But they got things that money cannot buy. And that's the goodness, the connection with the divine, the connection with God, right? This person, the, the more stuff they have, the more far away from their inner self or their mind that there are. The less stuff that a person has, you know, opens them up to be closer to God. You know what I'm saying? So it's just that you like a little bit closer to God, right? You, there's an anointing on you. You bless, you glow, right? You shine, right? Even without trying. And then you have somebody that's around the area or somewhere around this energy that just got it going on. They got everything, but they still envious or jealous of you because they don't have what you have. They value something you have and they can't get it for themselves. They feel like, okay, if I do this and get that, if I got a nice car, if I got a nice house, if I got nice clothes, if I got all these devices or electronics, you know, if I got the nicest jewelry, the flyest hair, the, you know, the best fade, you know, the be most beautiful is locked, you know, whatever. It still doesn't compare to you. You don't have nowhere. The way people view you is nowhere in that same league as they view this person. But this person so jealous of you, right? So let's see why here with Spectrum. What's going on with your life? Okay. And it's the chariot. Okay, it's your confidence, it's your will to do, to be, right? Not just to exist, but to live and also be able to share your wealth with others, your knowledge, your love. You know what I'm saying? Right? This is you just being you naturally, moving forward through life gracefully, right? And they struggling and suffering to, to have these things. They working so hard, beating their body down to have these things. Just for who? Who is it for? Right? Why you, you collect all these things because you attract all these things. You ain't got to work so hard for these things because you work for, for something much, much bigger, much, much greater than, than, than this physical existence, right? You work for God, right? You a soldier for God, right? You do the right thing when nobody's watching. You wear your crown with honor. You proud. You confident, right? You help people. When you help people, you don't post it up. You don't talk about it. You don't gossip about people, right? This is one of those type of Pisces people, okay? This is the energy. If it's you, claim it. Claim it. I do not gossip. I do not talk about people, right? I do the right thing even when nobody's watching. I'm proud of myself. I'm confident in myself. I have a strong will to keep moving forward, to pursue, to do God's work, whatever it is, right? I go, I be, I feel so defeated sometimes, but I keep on going. It's a lot of people come at me, try to knock me down, but I keep on going, right? Five of swords here, right? I feel also a sense of protection around this five of swords, right? I feel like you fight hard to do the right thing. Like it's not easy doing the right thing. It's just something that's within your spirit that you choose to do. And that is your truth, right? That is your truth here with the Ace of Swords. Okay, so somebody clearly is blinded by your light. And they can't find a way to take you down. They can't find a way to take control over you here, right? They can't find a way to blind you from your purpose, okay? Somebody real mad, they can't take you off your path, right? 
You wear the crown with honor, right? There's something in you. There's something that runs through your blood here with Black Panther, right? You come from a part of the world where whatever's running through your blood don't flow through all blood, right? You ancient, baby. You come from a place. Look, justice, right? Hmm. What is that? I heard. Okay, we know justice speaks of karma, right? I see a chessboard down here along with the sun. Okay. Okay. I feel like other people could be involved, right? People, the people that do gravitate to you, the people that you do let in, the people lives you do balance out, the help you offer, the love, the guidance, the money, whatever it is you do with nothing. You understand what I'm saying? I think this is what it is. This person is mad at you because you could do everything they could do and you ain't even got it like they got it. You do it with nothing. You do it from the hands of God. The hands of God it blesses you to be able to bless others and people love you for that and this person don't okay they just don't right you bring balance to the world you out here fulfilling your motherfucking destiny right you out here doing what you're supposed to do you out here being who you are naturally who you were created to be uh, a lot of you may look at your purpose like it ain't much, but believe me, it's making a huge impact, especially on the evil eyes that watch you, right? On the evil eyes that watch you, you hear me? The ones who can't see you, who can't touch you, right? They only could wonder, right? They can't get close to you. They can't cross that bridge and they want the power. They want that power, right? What you have, they look at it as power, right? And theirs is like a fucking car with starter problems. I need a fucking jump. I need your light. I need your light to charge my damn battery. And you won't let me know where near you, but everybody else is around you, right? Everybody gravitating to you and I'm sitting over here. I got everything everybody want, but so do you. But you got it gracefully. They got it the hard way, right? So you bringing justice to people that this person may have treated bad, right? Imagine being someone that everybody talk about, that everybody feel like it ain't good enough and then boom, one day you just a shit. You everything everybody want, right? And there's this person who thought they was that, right? Who had to work hard for that, who had to misuse people for that, who had to do strange things in the dark for that. When you got it gracefully and you teach other people how to get it gracefully, right? And this person mad, right? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces, I hear you look out for a lot of people like you carry a lot of people, whether you like I, I feel like it goes unnoticed to you. Like you look at it like, oh, well, shit, I, I let them borrow my car. That ain't nothing. Oh, I gave them a hundred dollars. That ain't nothing. Like you look at stuff like it's not nothing. But I'm telling you, when you help these people, you are a for lifer, right? You because it's so genuine and real. Like you are a for lifer. These people will love you for lifer for life. Opposed to this person who you gotta give me something. You owe me back. You gotta pay me back. Oh, this and that. Everything means something. Every little petty fucking thing they do for a person they throw it up in their face they tell the world right they go gossiping around the people we know right somebody just ain't got the type of power you got and this person losing their power they falling apart because they don't treat people good right you showing up as this queen of pinnacle this lets me know how responsible you are not only for your own but how you sacrifice for others too especially people that you love right you you are giving you know fool you know you just know how it is you a healer you just been there you been down you been out and the way the reason why you could keep blessing people sometimes i bet just think about it you don't even know how you do half the shit you do it's god's hands Work it through you, right? You you bless somebody, your blessings come back tenfold, right? Very compassionate. Because see, the queen of pentacles, right? She do like the finer things in life. She can be a little bit bougie, but don't misunderstand her position. She still has a heart of gold. She's still very compassionate. She'll still look out for you and have extra, 
Okay, so that's just the giving hand of God, like God's blessing you to bless those, right? To instill something in the people, right? To love them without condition. Somebody just hate that you are who the fuck you are. They hate you woke up this morning. They hate you exist, right? They want to steal your joy. They want to steal your pride. They want to steal the things that money can't buy, right? They want this power for their own personal gain. They want people to like them for whatever reasons. They trying to fill some type of void in their heart or in, in their mind that, that you already have naturally. So they want your powers, right? They want your fucking power. They want people to flock to them like they flock to you. They want people to love them like you, like they love you. But you actually give that back, right? They want something for it, right? So, yeah, this person just wants to steal your crown, right? They want your honor. They want the rewards without putting in the work. She-Hawk, do the right thing even when nobody's watching, right? So, let's see, Pisces. You know, the Knight of Swords, okay? And this knight of swords looks like he's taking a risk, like he's trusting in something, like he believes something, or even that he's come to the end of the road, right? So it's like you do the right thing even when nobody's watching, right? You take that time. And I know they talk about the knight of swords, but this knight of swords illustration is much, much different from any other, right? This knight of swords, I see, you know, actually paying attention, actually listening, actually you know, finding clarity, actually understanding, right? I, I I see this Knight of Swords actually trusting in something, right? Even when the odds against me, even when they rushing at me, even when my back's up against the wall, even when I'm getting ready to fall off a cliff, I could still hear that divine voice, right? That bird, the messenger, I still am guided, right? Even if I can't see, I am guided. Okay, so it's just that this person going to keep trying to come at you because you're good, right? This person going to keep trying to come at you because they want what you have, right? And they can't, they, they don't have access to what you have, okay? This person is desperate here with the nine of wands, okay? They'll never give up on trying to have the spotlight of trying to be the star, or of trying to be number one. That's not in their uh, psyche to, to give up on outshining anybody who's shining brighter than them, right? They got a thing for it. They suffering. They'll do anything to be number one. And that's why they hate you or don't like you or envy you or jealous of you because they got to work so hard to, 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 have what you have, but they don't go about it the right way. Their intention ain't good with it, right? And this could be the universe screaming to them, slow the fuck down. Do the right thing when nobody watching. Bless somebody without telling them, telling them or posting it up online, right? Talk to people with respect, even if they have less than you, even if you don't see them as nobody that could, that could be valued in your life. Still treat them people with respect. Because as easy as you got it, which this person didn't get it easy, but it could be taken away. They did a lot of dark things for the things that they have. They stepped over and misused and fucked around a lot of people to have the things that they have. They took advantage of good people. You know what I'm saying? To have the things that they have. To want the clout, to want the fame, to want the respect, to want the love. They want all of that, but they got to work so hard for it. When they come easy to you, because you do things from a from a good place with a good heart, with good intention, and somebody around you wants that type of power, so they want to get close to you and they can't. I don't know who it is. I don't know why they want to get close to you and they can't, because they want to take your powers. They want to drain you, right? They want to see. Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess came out. 
Okay, this person want to know what your secret is. They want to know how you can balance all this out. How are you capable of doing all of these things when you ain't got shit? How is everybody respect you and coming to you and you ain't got shit? I hate that you ain't got shit, but still able to produce just as much as I can. What's your secret? Share it with me. Okay, so this somebody just want to fucking get up in, up close to you to to study you, okay? To steal your your words, you know, your joy, you know, the things that money can't buy. They want to suck all the goodness out of you into them, and then they still not going to use it properly, okay? What's crossing all this energy, Pisces, is the Eight of Cups, okay? Stay away from people like that. You could judge them in their character, right? And, and I know we're not supposed to judge, but you do judge what's right and wrong. You know, we born knowing right from wrong. Okay. And if somebody, if the spirit of somebody doesn't feel right on you, that's right. Keep that boundary set. Keep them at a distance. Keep them far away. Stay far the fuck away from people like that as you possibly can. Because anybody who hates you, for being blessed, for having the hand of God walking or working through you to help others just so they can be the best, right? Somebody who treat people like shit because they ain't the best and they want, they look at you, how you, how, how, how did you get that? Oh, Pisces did that for me. Pisces did this. People praise your name. They proud to say what you've done for them. You ain't got to tell it. This shit speaks for itself. And this person, oh, you don't fuck with me no more. How'd you get that, Pisces? It's like you got the new shit. Now you you the shit, right? You the new drug that everybody want to try out. And this person can't come close. It's either they can't get close to you or they won't even step to you because they blinded by your light. Your energy vibrating so motherfucking high. This person can't even come into your uh, aura field. They got to send somebody. Fucking coward. Somebody who just want to say they got it. Right? People want it and they want to be the one to give it to them, but they want something for it. All right, so Pisces, that's the energy. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the second chakra, and it's the sacral chakra, and this one is relevant to abundance. I am worthy and deserve an abundance of anything that I require. I watch my thoughts to ensure that I am honoring and respecting myself. I honor myself by knowing that I am worthy to receive and I am open to receive now. I remind myself that it is a sign of strength to ask for help. Abundance is the positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.